basically this was a part of AS12, but AS10 may mention it. That's why I'm taking it here. Your major query is this. No depreciation charge on asset as asset is purchased from government funds. This was a query from another institution. First let me complete. And this was a query. And now if we charge, there will be a huge loss. Now what's the reply for this? AS12 talks about these two methods. I'll go very slow in this. One is the gross. Gross method is known as income approach. And net method is known as capital approach. Without taking, I have taken an example for you. Gross income. It means if we have taken, we have received a grant of 80, let's say. I have not even taken 100% example. I have taken, let's say, grant is 80 and you purchase a computer for 100. When you get the grant, your entry is what? Bank to grant. I hope you are so clear. You can see the first entry is exactly common. Because you are receiving the money, balance sheet, bank and grant. Then you are purchasing it, computer, 100 rupees. It means 20 rupees you have paid from your own pocket. Entry is common. But third entry you can check is not common. In the third entry, how much depreciation I am charging? Tell me, how much depreciation we are charging? 10. I have assumed a 10 percent rate. Because fixed asset is 100. 100. 100. So 100 ka 10 percent. But kindly see sir, kindly see in the next one, what is the depreciation amount? Two. How much? Two. Reason. Let me show this example here. Aapka major query clear ho bhi. If I have, let's suppose, purchase a computer for 100 rupees. Right? And we have received a grant of 80. This is your balance sheet. You were already having 1000 with you. You were already having a fund of 1000. Agreed? Now you just received a grant of 80 rupees. Done? Now what you did? Now you have purchased a computer. We have purchased a computer here. How much amount? 100. 20 out of this. 20, 80 out of this and 20 this. How much bank? Uh, grant itself 80, 100, how will we, we will be able to? So opening also. Sir? Opening balance you must be having it now. Okay. Now, now if I prepare my balance sheet, it is what bank 980, computer 100, my capital fund is this. Agreed? This is a common, I have not even did anything, this is a common approach. Common means this is only the first two entries. Only first two entries. Please, no one stops you. You follow any approach. And Anand ka section hai. Anand will take this. I am just taking it because he AS10 me mentioned hai. Aur aapka query tha isme. Now comes a depreciation rate. Depreciation rate is let's suppose 10%. Now you can have two approach. First, the easiest approach, the easiest I'm telling you. And trust me, no auditor can argue this. It's given in accounting standards. The best approach is right bank 980. Computer 100, how much was the grant? 80. Now your fund is only 1000. And this is only 
here i have a problem sir please bolie uh, this uh, thousand you are uh, uh, you have presumed uh, some other capitals are there but our entire capital is out of capital grant so in that case we will not have any fixed asset in our uh, I'm coming, I'm books sir i requested let me complete first yes sir i have taken that example in which at least there was a certain amount let me complete this now the same part if you do by this right bank 1000 same aur ye sab ke liye chahe kisi scheme ka hai because there was a query about we are getting some funds for some scheme we are creating the asset anything now let's suppose you have purchased a computer right there was a grant of 100 there was a grant of 100 right you have purchased a computer of 100 it goes from here agree turn so my balance sheet will be like this fund agreed i have taken two approaches i will i can even take the reverse way also there are cases when you get a more grant and you spend less in this case we will not have any depreciation i that one saying let me complete first this is the easiest approach no auditor can argue this now follow the net approach net approach says remove the computer and the grant but because computer is with you to have a location to have the control of the asset only show it at 1 rupee now if you prepare your balance sheet it will be like this bank 1000 computer 1 fund i can give you the paragraph of as 12 i can give you the paragraph of as 10 sir in the first case uh, we will not have any fixed assets in the register because uh, you have assumed some thousand as opening balance we sir, don't have any such I, opening balance are sir no everything ek minute ek minute don't even assume opening balance you get the grant you get the grant yes sir right you spend this you get a computer you remove it you will have computer why you will not have it but you will have it for only for 1 rupee fund 1 rupee and this is the first approach sir so our balance sheet will show 1 rupee on the yes. capital side 1 rupee on the uh, fixed right. asset side and there won't be any depreciation no as per the first method right second method we our uh, uh, we will not have any depreciation say second i'll come to it first this approach is clear this approach is clear any query in this auditors will accept this we don't Or it will not accept it. No, whether it will show a clear picture. Uh, Why not? Grant, it is not reflecting how much grant we received. It is not showing how much uh, fixed assets we are having. Uh. Sorry, sir. Again, that's your way of taking it. When it is not your fund, that's the reason AS12 clearly says it's your approach. That's a net approach. Don't follow this. If you want to go by the, sir. <laughs> इनकम में कैसे आ जाएगा सर इट बीन एडेड टू कैपिटल सर इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर में कैसे आएगा सर नो 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 रेवेन्यू ग्रांट इज नाउ एट प्रेजेंट ऑल इंस्टीट्यूशंस आर रिकॉग्नाइजिंग इन इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर ऑल रेवेन्यू ग्रांट्स यस सर वेट एक मिनट नाउ इफ यू वांट टू टेक दी सेकंड अप्रोच सेकंड अप्रोच बैंक 100 100 इसमें आएगा इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर में आपके सर ये कैसे हो सकता है कैसे हो सकता है सर कैसे हो जाएगा मैं भूल जाऊंगा अकाउंट्स ग्रांट इज टेकन टू इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर ओनली डोज ग्रांट्स व्हिच आर फॉर एक्सपेंस और इनकम ग्रांट्स आर रिसीव्ड फॉर फाइव रीजंस वन एयर इंडिया हैज गॉट बेल आउट ग्रांट that is taken to the income expenditure grant given for the income grant given to meet out salaries is taken to income expenditure 
grant given any for capital purpose any capitalized asset grant given for land you can never take it to income expenditure agar aap leke ja rahe hain you are making a blunder mistake sir sir what he is saying is correct because revenue grants are being recognized in income expenditure there is a break up there is a break up ma'am depreciation if you are if you are already in the first instance you are making it zero and showing the nominal value then why you will charge depreciation on it agar aapne computer aapne grant se hi purchase kiya aur aapne grant aur computer ko net approach ke through remove kar diya to aapki balance sheet mein kyun aayega wo no sir depreciation aayega nahi that's the right approach i'm telling you at least no one can question you jo aapko tension ho rahi hai na depreciation ki itni हंड्रेड रुपीज Is it means that hundred rupees ki bikegi? When it is being sold, it is being revalued. Bo- these are book values. Second, you are talking about true and fair view. Let me take that. Let me take a true and fair view point. What approach you guys are following it? It is given this. Now, in gross approach, get cancel out. Now, kindly listen, everyone, because tabi aapko ye. it seems ki you are following some wrong concepts here computer 100 fund 100 now for the first year for the first year this is a gross approach gross means i am showing both the grants assets now first year i'll charge a depreciation 20% and this fund i will write this fund as deferred income deferred income means i am not using it immediately this income is for 5 years let's say it will be allocated over the useful life of the asset it means isme se kitni maine income use kari hai 20 wali this 20 becomes your income for this year kya true and fair view hai sir अभी भी इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर में तो नेट ही है सेकेंड ईयर सेकेंड ईयर इफ यू कम कंप्यूटर 80, डेफर्ड 20, सर 80 सॉरी नाउ नेक्स्ट ईयर अगेन डेप्रिसिएशन विल बी चार्ज एंड ग्रैंड 20. and you write your accounting policy it is as per as 12 let's have a discussion and no auditor can question this because it's been given the approach it's the right approach what's the wrong in this this grant was given for the purpose of what asset specific grant you have used it so logically either you use it show in the books immediately or show it over the period tell me what's the wrong in this how many of you are following how many of you following the gross approach gross approach one second third gross approach four five six nobody for net approach aur isi reason se dikkat aati hai sir i please sir uh, we are charging depreciation of rupees 20 in the income and expenditure account but the way you are showing a grant 20 in the credit side of the income and expenditure account we are not doing that what we are doing uh, whatever deficit is there on account of this particular uh, depreciation because every year there is deficit that is excess of expenditure over income we are transferring it to the capital fund that's what we are doing sir please clarify it means not here right right deficit right and this deficit you are 
You are writing capital of 100? Yes. Sir. Agreed? Yes. Sir, accounting effect is same, but if you go by AS12 illustrations, that's the wrong approach. AS12 clearly says, and we'll be explaining it, it's a deferred grant. First, you deferred is what? It's an expenditure which you've incurred it, but how, for how many years? Over the useful life of the asset. Accounting effect, both is same. Both is same. The, the difference is you have not taken it to the income expenditure account. You have taken the net effect to the capital fund. In your approach, there is one problem. Deferred grant, how much is for grant, how much is for capital fund is not separate. In the approach which I have taken, which is as per AS12, capital fund is separate and deferred grant is separate. At least you can identify this much grant has been used on account of depreciation, this is still left. That's the best way. Because that's the reason auditor raised a query. In, in your balance sheet, if you see it here, it is not clear that how much is capital fund and how much is deferred grant. If let's suppose I have an opening balance and I mix it everything, and I mix everything here, difficult. But if I write it here, capital fund separate and deferred separate, or is reason say AS12 me likha hua open a deferred account and amortize it over five years or six years or over seven years. They say over the life of the asset, very clearly. And the query which was there, it's a very common query. There was a query from everyone, not here, even for local government also. Sir, if we show everything at rupee one, then our balance sheet will only show rupee one. So what? So what? If in future, let's suppose company, government decide for disinvestment, so government will be selling the asset at the actual market price? They will be getting the actual market price. Who stops? It's your, no one forces to follow only net approach or gross approach. But gross may aapko hamesha dikkat aayegi, depreciation ke. Phir wo query aayegi, sir income tax, sir useful life. If you want to follow simple and straightforward approach, you, no one stops, you prepare fix as a schedule. Just for disclosure. Banaye, disclosure ke liye, ki ye meri asset ki aaj ki value, real life value. There was a, one annual report, I won't name again. Usme kuch assets hain, is pe depreciation charge kara gaya. But it has, it has not been shown in the fixed asset. Reason, reason won ki ownership transfer nahi hui thi. But they still prepared the schedule. Ki itna fixed asset hai, itna depreciation laga, itna book value. So in net approach, no one stops you to give the additional disclosure. You prepare a schedule. But us schedule ka impact aapke income expenditure pe nahi aayega. Balance sheet pe nahi aayega. Agar income expenditure pe nahi aaya, balance sheet pe nahi aaya, no auditor can question it. And the best part is it is as per S12. Sabse best example ye. Sirap approach exactly wo ye job kar rahe hain abhi. Maine aapko sirap ek treatment bata diya, right, right treatment thi. Abhi to there were lot of things. I'll take one very simple new point for you which is applicable, sir, for you, especially jo 105 years. Hai. Tell me about this. It's a new point. First, this is a very good flow chart to value any asset. I'm reading everything. This we have prepared for the Ministry of Urban Development. It talks about all the possibility of the asset. If I go for the first one, now kindly, everyone, if you can, they, they can focus it. First, it says, was the asset received as gift? If yes, value at rupee one, over. I'm telling you this flowchart will solve your, all the queries. This, we have prepared by a lot of efforts in 2009. It's an official, official document now. Then, if it is not received as a gift, if it is not received as a gift, you have purchased it, you have constructed it. Like in IIT, you create a lot of assets. 
इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द एसेट अवेलेबल इसका मतलब आपने कार खुद परचेज करी गिफ्ट नहीं मिली क्या उसका बिल आपके पास है डू हैव द बिल इफ यस शो इट एट द कॉस्ट फिनिश दिस इंटायर आई बी गिविंग टू यू डोंट वरी इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन नेट इफ द कॉस्ट इज नॉट अवेलेबल इट मीन्स दे आर लॉट ऑफ एसेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट सर he was saying his institution is 105 years old so logically there will be lot of buildings lot of furniture for which even you don't know about the purchase bill you don't know whether it was purchased or gifted pata hi nahi aapko then we look there is a one more method in this is the year of purchase available if the year of purchase available even if year of purchase is not available at least in the market valuers are available they can say कि हाउ दिस मस्ट बी टेन इयर्स ओल्ड फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड दे कैन गिव यू द रफ आइडिया इफ ईयर ऑफ परचेज इज अवेलेबल इट्स वेरी गुड नॉलेज और गारंटी आपको काम आएगा ये जैसे एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिटरमाइंस अ वाटर ट्रैंक वाज इंस्टॉल एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ 150 फिफ्टी लेट्स डू द कैलकुलेशन वन एंड इट स्टार्टेड ऑपरेशन ऑन थर्टीन थर्टीन अप्रैल टू historical cost very easy for 2 years appreciation this we have been doing it hum ye karte hain cost hame aa gaya 2 years ka humne depreciation lagaya aur value aa gaya but now what a building you have been transferred to one institution where there is one building which you know was purchased in 96 97 or constructed in 96 97 but you do not have you do not have any record of today today you can find out the cost kaise dekhiye zara if i am saying this is 13 14 and in 13 14 i was transferred to one institution let's say mere iit and there was one building when i went to the balance sheet there was this building was not shown in the balance sheet i inquired they said sir sorry we do not have the purchase bill we do not know the in which year it was purchased i said at least you can find out the year of purchase as the valuer valuer said yes sir it was purchased somewhere in let's say 99 2000 i said very good can you give me the current market price of this he went to the market from the property dealer real estate he said its market value today is let's say 120 but it was constructed in which year we all know this much of stats deflation index inflation index it is being given in your guidance document you can use it ye wahan par lagega jahan assets aapke paas hain but you are not showing in your balance sheet because you do not have any bill you do not know any other things go backwards and how to go backwards is very easy how many of you have seen these rates income tax index these indexes are given in 13 14 what's the what's the value 1939 and in 99 2000 it was what 380 389 it means can i find the value here 120 into 389 divided by ye approach bahut chal rahi hai sir ye easy bahut lagta hai ki sir ye to bahut useless approach hai इन डोज एसेट इन स्पेशली डोज यू एल बी डोज गवर्नमेंट लेवल जहाँ इतने सारे एसेट्स हैं जहाँ वैल्यूएशन नहीं है वी ओनली लुक एट दी आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट देर लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जहाँ पे आप जाइएगा वहाँ पर आपको ये नहीं पता होगा आपने कब खरीदा इफ आई कैलकुलेट दिस अप्रोक्सीमेट आई एम अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू एट सपोज फोर्टी थाउजेंड This is how many years? 
14 years. If let's suppose depreciation rate on building is 10%, I'm assuming it 10%. 10% SLM, and in 10 years gone, it means it should not be shown in the balance sheet. Zero. But if the value is, let's say, depreciation rate is 5%. SLM, 40,005%. How much amount? 40,005%. 2,000. So 2,000 will be charged for 14 years. What is the value? So in my balance sheet, I can show it at. And this is approved by the central government method. This method is used when you do not have any information. Still, you can find out using the current approach. Sir, agar, even if it is not known, then at least you ask any engineer, any guy, who will you estimate life. Bata dega. I know, please understand, even AS6 talks about this. AS6 never says the actual life. It says estimate life. Life is never the actual, never the actual. No one can find out actual life. It's always estimated. No auditor can question this. Yeah, I know, Abhi Shad, most of you must be thinking, use this approach. Yeah, you will be able when you face any asset, you will not be able to do anything. You will not be In those cases, you can immediately find out, especially here, in Uttarakhand, let's say, there must be a lot of assets. Jiske koi whereabouts nahi hai. No whereabouts. Now you tell me, if you actually want to find out the valuation, kaise nikal lenge In Taj Hotel, let's suppose when that incident happened, all accounting records was destroyed. In those cases, this method is useful. Sir, I have only one point, sir. Please, sir. Now, earlier it was not, the value was not there in the balance sheet. Now, as per the calculation, I am taking 12,000 in the balance sheet as, uh, as per your example. Now, what is the corresponding entry? Capital fund, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Capital fund. Because the entry immediately becomes fixed as I go on debit to capital fund. Can break for lunch.